What's up, YouTube? Well, I went out on my first Randall Nautic uh, uh, experience. Uh, I went to four different points. Uh, the first two points uh, that I uh, that I um, went to were two obviously random points. Uh, one was in a neighborhood um, that my daughter used to live in, and then the other one was a place that I couldn't go, which was on the Rocket Center, uh, the base. So I don't have a pass for the base anymore. Therefore, I wasn't getting through that gate. You understand what I'm saying? So my next two spots were definitely to go to some very random, uh, out in the middle of nowhere type spots. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I had a good time making it. A little creepy, but still fun. Enjoy. I head to our first point. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to run into. We're getting ready to head out and find out. We've got to go about two miles right now. So here we go. guy on a bicycle here and all I see is a doggy poop station nice okay I'm here it's a parking lot of a apartment complex this is exactly the spot where I'm supposed to be but apparently it's just a random spot uh, let's move on to the next one all right. all right we're heading out to our second location rando nautica whoa that's crazy and uh, we'll see you in a minute Okay, this thing is obviously taking me to base. This is the rocket center, and I am not going this way. So I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way because I don't want to get in trouble with the MPs up here. Because this gate is obviously no trespassing. It is a military rocket center, and I am not going in there. I am not. I'm not walking. I'm not going in there. So Randonautica, you're gonna have to send me somewhere else. Okay, YouTube, I'm obviously gonna go and get a bite to eat because, um, yeah, it tried to take me to the military base, which was not cool. I don't have a pass right now. I am ex-military, but I am not going on a Randonautica and running with the with the MPs. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. So. I will look for food, which I don't see, except for this Publix right here, and this uh, Domino's Pizza. Um, yeah, I'm going to get something to eat. See you in a minute. So now I'm in the store getting soup. I'm going to get some soup and crackers with my big old mask on my face before we go random nodding around to wherever this is taking me. It's going to be crazy. Probably. Alright, let's, let's get the show on the road. Head back out and get this point done. It's getting pretty dark and all I got is this little tiny flashlight. But we shall see. It's taking me to the middle of the field somewhere, so this is going to be fun. Alright, here we go. We're heading out. Random places in the random world. It's getting creepy out here now. Little creepy. There ain't no lights out here. It's a little creepy out here. No doubt about it. We shall see what this brings.
Well, we've arrived. Something. vehicles. Creepy as hell out here, folks. That's creepy as hell. That's a random spot for sure. Lots of bug noises and stuff like that, but I don't see anything too crazy. Now to our next location, down some more creepy roads. Turn left onto Trademark Drive Southwest. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we've arrived at our destination. Let's turn the truck off. Keep the lights on. So I can see what's going on here. It's by Turner, some random Turner factory. But obviously it's a dead end. Creepy. This this app is kinda creepy, weepy. In a sorta of kinda of way. Like it takes you to random places in the middle of nowhere. Let me check my spot, make sure I'm right on time. Yeah, so basically it wants me to go in there about 50 feet into the woods. It's the middle of the night. I'm by myself. I don't think so. All I have is a knife. And that's not going to happen. But yeah, kind of creepy. Landon, I think you got it, man. If you want to go creepy, I suggest you go out with friends. Uh, right now, I don't know how to go. All right, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm at my fourth point. And it wants me to go in there. All right, we're going in. Smell something. A big sign up there that's lit up. It's definitely creepy in here. Holy oh, crap, there's a road back here. We're going in.
We got a ball. Can't tell. We got an apple or something. Let me know if you see anything, YouTube. The main road is right behind me, but you know, it's just creepy as hell back here. I hear something. I've never seen anything, YouTube. I'm deep in now. The road's back that way. Over here. So noisy with all the bugs and shit. This ain't nothing I'm not used to though. Fought in the rack, I've been here. I've been alone in these kind of positions before. I'm gonna say this ain't creepy though. I'm glad I got this last time. Oh crap, this road keeps going. What the hell's that? What the fuck is that? What is it? Oh, that guy. Freaking Blair Witch shit right here. Man. Doesn't look like it goes any further than that. I'm going to try to get a picture of this shit. Oh my god. I can't see it. I can't see it from that. Let's see if I can get a picture of Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. Starting to hear voices. I don't recommend doing random, random nautica at night. It's creepy as a freak. You definitely don't want to get lost in the woods or anything like that. I'm just going to stay on the road in here. Well, sort of road. I don't know what you call this grassy, patchy area. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What? I'll go back. It's not back there. Could just be coyote for all I know. All I got on me though is a knife. So I'm gonna have to go 
little bear claw on them. I think that's just a power thing or something like that. Yeah, it's just whew. It looks like somebody standing there in the vest or something. What the hell? What the hell was that? I heard voices back there, y'all. Crappy knot. And then I heard something walking beside me. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing it. Is anybody here who wants to talk to me? Come out. Let's talk. Let's do this. Go hide in the bushes. If you're out there, come on. Ain't nothing between you and me, except for some leaves. If you're peaceful, come out and identify yourself. If you don't identify yourself, I'll be forced to, uh, I'll be forced to take you on by your hand. I got a knife. That's about it. I ain't scared of you, so come on out. Come on, Yodis. Or people, if you're living up here in the woods. That's what I thought. I ain't seeing nothing. I'm going out. That's it for my randonautic experience, folks. We will see you on the flip side. Next time. I had to leave out because my phone's on. 1% and I don't have any battery backup. So this is Dark Web 72. I'm out. Oh, one more disclaimer. I actually went to five spots. <laughs> so when I say this is my fourth spot, it's actually my fifth spot. And uh, that was where I did go into the woods. Uh, I felt a little safer there because it was near a road ish. But yeah, uh, it was still, I still don't recommend going and by yourself. Um, I'm ex-military, I'm trained, uh, I've been in these situations, I've been in the middle of the desert uh, with nobody around except for me and my M16 uh, or my M4. Uh, yeah, I've been in these situations. So yeah, don't recommend going out without a guide or any experience. Like I said before, Dark Web 72, out. <laughs>